And for me, Michigan is personal. It's inexcusable that Michigan is undergoing a one state recession. High levels of unemployment, industry is shrinking here, jobs are going away. We're going to invest in technology and research to make sure that American goods are pushing into other markets. That's Mitt Romney's latest TV ad targeting the voters in Michigan. Uh, many of the candidates have been ignoring the Wolverine State, but Romney's giving his hometown special attention. Will it help his campaign? We continue now with our panel. Uh, Tony, Michigan gets uh, kind of overlooked between New Hampshire and South Carolina. Think it's going to be quite important for Romney? Well, Romney's in a difficult situation where it's considered a home state. It's his father's home state, although he's from Massachusetts more recently. So he has to do well, probably win. No one's taking it real seriously. Huckabee's coming up in the polls in Michigan as well. So I wouldn't say it's a lose-lose for Romney, but he's going to he's gonna have to win decisively to have, turn it into a plus. It could easily be a minus for him. Let's go to the candidate who, uh, who gets uh, talked about all the time, and you certainly see plenty of signs for him, and he raises a ton of cash. Uh, the New York Sun had a, a story about his uh, fundraising prowess uh, today, uh, but the problem is translating this into votes, and he can't seem to get any respect from the Washington uh, establishment in terms of translating it into votes. Uh, Michael, is this purely an Internet phenomenon that will have uh, no resonance on the ground whatsoever come actual voting absolutely, times? Absolutely. Absolutely is Internet. The problem he has with buying respect with all that money is when you look at his supporters when they're wearing pirate hats and carrying signs to look into 9-11 like somehow we're complicit in what happened 9-11, you're not going to get respect from the people who are going to be out voting, you know, in the caucuses or in New Hampshire or any one of the states. So he may have a ton of money from the Internet, from those yahoos, but the reality of it is it's not going to buy him votes. You don't buy him as a small government constitutionalist in the Reagan tradition, then? Listen, I, listen, as my father would say, well... I'm not going to vote for him. <laughs> That's a good impression. That's Pretty very good. good. That is uh, very good. No hope for Ron Paul, Stephanie? You know, I, I think the most significant thing, Tony, is that, that if you look at uh, military families, they give the most to Ron Paul of any Republican candidate, and he's the only Republican Who candidate that? that wants to get out of Iraq like 70% of the American people do. So I think that is significant. And when he does the Republican debates, he's like Piggy on Lord of the Flies. Like, I think he, they're going to kill him with a rock. He gets booed at the Republican debates. <laughs> and he's the, the only one talking <laughs> sense. He's the only one talking look, sense like not... my dad in Goldwater did in 1964. Ron Paul landed slide 70 percent of people agree with him uh, tony i think he's as much a crank as he is a libertarian his foreign policy is a farce and nobody uh outside of the the periphery of politics takes it seriously and he's not going to get more than two to four or five percent in any election so he can spend as much money as he raises i don't think it's going to make any difference well let's talk a little obama here apparently uh, barack obama is talking about a possible cabinet position for arnold schwarzenegger let's take a look There they are. Uh, they have uh, a little bit of uh, chemistry there, at least if you put those pictures together. Like it looks brothers. like this. <laughs> like. So, uh, Stephanie, uh, is that a good move for Barack Obama? I thought we had audio in that. That's why I paused for a second. But, Stephanie, I, uh, Alan, what do you think about that? I, Alan, I like it. It has the same kind of multiculturalism that our uh, California gubernatorial <laughs> debate did here between Ariana Huffington and... Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the one you need a U.N. headset for. The, I don't understand why you say environmentalists and you need a... Can I jump in as a yeah, California? Yeah, I think that you need to get a... I thought we were going to have to change our California state slogan to what? Hey, between your like uh, area and, impression and, and, and Michael's impression of his dad, we got a whole uh, great the comedy show hey, here. Can I jump back. in on Schwarzenegger? Do you yeah. have a moment for me jumping on Schwarzenegger? Why is Obama doing that? Because he liked to win the state of California. So you have a governor who runs to the right, leads to the left. The reality of it is, you have the governor today announced that he's going to let 22,000 criminals out of jail. He'd be better off running with Huckabee than he would be running with Obama. All right, guess who else may be uh, jumping into the right? I'm sorry, Stephanie, you want to say something? Well, you know, he had to be, become that thing, Alan, to uh, govern in California, Schwarzenegger did. What's it called? Oh, I know, a Democrat. Yeah. That's what he had to become. <laughs> All right, here's another person about to jump in, Cynthia McKinney. Uh, and uh, is she going to uh, make a return? And here's something she's putting out. The illegal, immoral, and undeclared war in Iraq rages on. American soldiers, Iraqi children, the truth, and our Constitution are all casualties 
of that shamefully unnecessary enterprise. The Republicans have deceived us. The Democrats have failed us. Tony Blankley, she wants the Green Party nomination. <laughs> Could she be the Ralph Nader of uh, no, this upcoming election? No, Ralph Nader is a pretty sensible guy whose policies I disagree with. This is a woman who's on the edge of the lunatic fringe. She, <laughs> I believe, she, I believe, accuses us of of causing September 11th. I mean, she is. I mean, I remember her from the Hill. She is really lost in reality completely. Uh, Stephanie, is uh, she too far yeah, left well, Alan, even for? Uh, here it Here's the one thing she has over Huckabee. She doesn't need Chuck, Chuck Norris to come with her, okay? She will kick you in the head herself if you don't vote for her. <laughs> That's right. Michael, uh, you're a big... Michael, uh, there, I'm sure we're going to find a Cynthia McKinney Sin fan there somewhere. Sin Maybe Cynthia it's Michael McKin Reagan. Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia McKinney. I see the trifecta now. Cynthia McKinney, Kasunich, and Paul. They're running. And I don't know where they're going, but they're not taking me along. Yeah, but you need you need to have this as part of a campaign. It really puts things in perspective. Nobody cares it? about Cynthia McKinney. Nobody's gonna vote for Cynthia McKinney unless she writes herself in. I mean I mean she makes as as Tony says, praying for uh, Ralph Nader to come back. All right, Michael, Please. Stephanie, Tony, we thank you all very much for being with us tonight. And uh, coming up